but where do you start with this thing? What does your blank look like? I didn't have, I maybe should have, but I didn't have um, a buck or a model made for this. I just kind of looked at it and said, okay, I need a radius that's like this. That looks good with the rest of the what's going on under the hood here. And my analyzing of it was the flange in the middle, this one I can work with, I can shrink and stretch. This one, if it was vertical, I could still shrink and stretch. But you get the ones in the middle that are trapped. Once you've bent on either side of it, it's difficult to stretch or shrink either side of that. So you've got to pick something as your reference or your road map. And that's kind of the arc that the pattern has to be cut out so that that one is cut in its finished shape, so to speak. And then you work from the crease out. Is there any other comment? Am I thinking right? Those that have done things like this before, yeah. would you do that the same way? There are a hundred ways to do it. I shouldn't do it that way, but that's me. I would make it in two pieces and weld it down in both. Down oh, through here? Yeah, or in the center. Yeah. They will make them, they can make them the brakes and other thing, you know, the bands in, in, the, in, in the brake, you know. Yeah. And the, yeah. the wire edge will be, if it should be a wire edge, a false wire edge. It can be done uh, in a straight piece. Yeah. It's, that's my way. I do it all the time. Yeah. I, I, I contemplated doing that, but then I didn't like the idea of doing the weld in an area that wasn't real easy to work. But that, if nothing else, it was a good experience for me to learn how to do some of these mm -hmm. things. And um, some of it, obviously, I didn't charge the customer for all of this because I probably got 15 <laughs> hours in making this piece. You know, this was the first one. Um, no. But how, how, how would you do it, Ben? Learning all the time. Kind of way like you did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of got to break it down. That's what I was saying yeah, yeah. before. You know, analyze it, think about it. You know, if you've got one flange that's that's a little bit wider, that, that Make it a little easier for your try planishing. The, yeah, pick that one. Don't pick the narrowest one because it's going to be and, and, and hard to do. And never weld in a corner if you don't. No, yeah, never weld on a crease. Okay. Try to find the, the form that really has to fit and go from there. Right. Because then that is laid down and that's not going to change. So yep. that's easier than it. Uh, Let me say something really quick about doing stuff like this that I found where I've made huge mistakes. And that is, I've never done it before, I'm going to do it, it's for a job, I'm trying to make money. And so I'll sit there and I'll go, well, okay, let me do this like you do and say, okay, I think I can do this and I think I can stretch this. Where I make my mistake is, I don't contact him, I don't contact him, people that do this for a living have done it for years and years and years, and say, how would you do it? Because these guys have had to make money at it. They can come back and say, you know, do it like this and it'll take you a third the time. And so the biggest mistakes are made in complicated pieces at that point as to how much information and where you got the information. Did you just make it up for no reason? The people are out there that have done this and struggled through this. Send them an email. Contact them. Yeah. Steve. Or post that, on the is, site. Isn't yeah. that a consistent, is it a consistent all the way around? Um, no, it isn't. No, I mean the angles. The angles are consistent, though, aren't they? No. Oh, it's not. Because, okay. as I said before, that when this is in a finished position, this this surface here is going uphill back to the firewall, and this one is leaning forward. I guess it's level coming across this way, but you're coming from from different surfaces, so it's a it's kind of a twisted radius. But if you I mean, you've tried this, we've tried it before in different things where you put a, a pull max die and you actually manipulate it by pulling down you on can. the die and yep. it draws it around the die. Yeah. I mean, that works quite well in, in a lot of cases. And you so, can also favor the die to where if you need stretching in that middle of that, in the middle of those corners, you favor your die to where it hits, it's got an actual hit. Right, the metal hit. on metal hits where it's stretching as it's, it's coming around. thinning on one side, not yeah, on the other. Exactly. Yeah. So again, it's look at what you got to do. <coughs> Think about what you've got available and how you. Maybe you got to make a special tool just for that operation. And if you can make a simple tool that doesn't take you too long, it'll probably save you a lot in the long run. <laughs>